guys, we just arrived at the campsite. Now we need to level out the camper. We'll take the level, put it in, and see where it, see where the bubble goes. The bubble's to the left or to the right. Then we need to know which side we need to add some more levelers to. We have a set of levelers that we use. Come on around. You'll see we've got a pretty uh, muddy campground here. So this one, we actually had to use three levelers. You can see in the uh, the past, the, the last view, we, we still had a little bit of uh, room that we could have lifted up. But uh, for here, this is probably going to be about as good as we can do. So, it, you know, level's pretty... Uh, pretty general term here so we try to get it as close to level as we can but as you can see we're gonna have a hard time <laughs> this camp camp trip with uh, keeping this level especially with all the water that we've got okay now that we've got it leveled we'll need to take the camper off the hitch so I put down a couple of pieces of pieces of wood I'll have these available for you if you need it and then we'll just crank it down until we get the uh, until we get the hitch up Okay, we'll need to take the uh, weight distribution off too. In order to do that, take the post. You see I've got it hooked up here with the chains. I'll stick the pipe here and then we just pull this down and it'll disengage and then it takes the weight off of the trip, off the ton. Now we've got the, the trailer disengaged from the ball. You can see I added a couple of levelers here to give it a little bit more height. Uh, sometimes you need to do that depending on the slope of the, uh, the campsite. But we'll go in and now we have to look at leveling again. So now I pulled the truck away so I'm going to have to go back in and level the front to back. So come on over. You see we're pretty high up here on the level so we're gonna have to go back over and uh, bring her down until we get that front to back level okay so now we've got a level both front and back and pretty good side to side as best as we can you see we brought this down quite a bit uh, sometimes you have to take it up a bit to uh, pull the truck out the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the stabilizers you don't really want to do a whole lot in there until this camper is stable because it's really just resting on the front post there. Okay, now we're taking down the front stabilizers. I like to put down a leveler here just to give it some uh, flat area to, to hold it into. Otherwise, they're gonna go right into the ground. This will provide a little bit more stability for us. And they don't need to be tight, just snug, uh, and it'll hold in place. And this will make a big difference when you're in the, ca in the camper. And just keep in mind, you're gonna to need to do that for each of the stabilizers. There's one on each side of the vehicle. So one, two up front and two in back. And again, really what you wanna do is just get them snug. They don't need to be tight. They're not pulling up the, the camper. They're just keeping it snug. Okay, now that we've got the stabilizers down, we've got it level. Now I like to put on the, the electric. You'll notice it says here that this is for a 30 amp service. And if you come over here, this box, this is a pretty good example, has 20 amp service here. Uh, to address that, we've got a converter here that we will use that will basically just hook up to the uh, 30 amp and converts it down to uh, 20 amp service. There we go. We're all set. We're hooked up. We've got the electrical hooked up. This is pretty unique because this is the first campsite that we've been to that we've actually had to use this uh, converter. Uh, most of the campsites will have the 30 amp service, so uh, typically you wouldn't need it, but in case you do, it's here if you need it. Now for the fun stuff, uh, setting up sewage. So if your site has uh, sewage, our camper is able to discharge sewage here. This is the sewage receptacle. Just take the, the uh, top off. And then this, we'll need to open up our sewage right here. 
You'll see I'm wearing the blue sewage gloves. These are heavy duty. Uh, it's not that I'm a phobic about it. I just don't like getting poop on my hands. All right, we store our sewage line in the bumper back here. Just remove the plastic piece and pull out, pull out the line. You'll see that this is a expandable, flexible line. And these are our adapters that need to attach to the hose. This adapter will go straight from our flexible tube right to our holding tank. And this just plugs right into the sewage out, out inlet. Excuse me. So what's confusing about this particular thread is it's opposite. Uh, it'll show you which way is unlocked and which way is locked, but it's not intuitive. So if, you, if you're thinking righty tighty, lefty loosey, just think the opposite when you're, when you're uh, bringing these on. Uh, these are not uh, the best. It'll, it'll show you it with, with some arrows on here which way is to tighten and make sure that the clamp tightens up to that because you don't want sewage spilling out all over. It's just a sticky mess. So I'm going to take off the, the holding tank, the plug for that. Uh, we got, it's, it's a pretty muddy day here so we've got a lot of mud. Um, it's, oh. All right, so there's going to be a little bit, little bit of discharge. There's really no way to get around it. Um, it just happens. Uh, don't worry about it. That's why we've got the fancy blue gloves on, because uh, I don't know what's in that discharge. And again, like I said, I just don't like poo on my hands. This is a pretty easy lock. Just uh, line it up, and it'll plug right in, and it'll lock into play. And then right there, it's secure, and you don't really have to worry about it. And then the last piece we do is we'll kind of do the same that we did with the uh, inlet, and we're just going to attach this straight to the... Uh, to the sewage. Okay, and now last, now that we've got the, the, the unit leveled, we've got the water on, we've got the sewage set up, we've got the electrical on. The last thing I do is I just chuck the wheels. It's just, I, I don't suspect that anything's really going to happen, but it's just a last piece of safety just to make sure that it doesn't move. Uh, I'll put one behind the back, back wheel, one behind the front wheel, and just chuck it into place. And that should keep it pretty safe and uh, secure. Okay. okay, now that we've got video, er, now that we've got electric in here, we should be able to start using some of the electronics on the inside. Now this unit comes equipped with a slide out. It gives us about 18 inches of space. And really all you have to do is just hit this slide out when you arrive and it'll start moving the uh, system back. And once you hear click, there you go, it's done. A uh, couple other things that we use here, we're gonna keep the, we're gonna turn the water heater electric on. So that's gonna turn on our water heater. And here's, here's another gauge that you're gonna be using quite a bit. Uh, this is gonna tell you how much life you've got left in your tanks. So if you've got fresh water, which we don't have, we don't do a lot of freshwater camping, so uh, this should show empty, and it does. Uh, black water, that's, that's, our, that's, a, that's the sewage. Right now, I did add quite a bit of water in there to, to clean it out. Uh, so right now, it's showing at two-thirds full. Uh, the nice part about, as you saw when we first walked, uh, showed up, this, this does have a sewage facility. We can empty that out at any time, so not to worry. And that's the, that's the great part about having a sewage on the site. And we also have gray water, and it's really just the stuff that you're using to wash dishes and whatnot. That is going to, to load up pretty quickly. Okay, this camper is also has a feature similar to the, uh, the slide out, but we have an, we have an awning that's automatic. Uh, it works very similar to the, to the slide out. Uh, just hit the button up here, and it'll roll the awning out. And as you can see, we've got quite a bit of water. It's been really rainy, so it's always good just to let it air out uh, early when you start camping, just to let it dry out. 
and it's a little breezy and, and sunny today so it'll it'll dry out in no time okay now that we've got the electric on we've got the awning out we've got the slide out out uh, now I focus on the refrigerator it should be in the off position you'll see there's no lights on here once I've got the electric available I'm gonna switch that over to on that's gonna that that means that it's running off the electrical on the system if I switch it over to gas that's running off the propane uh, only do that if you're gonna be traveling and you want to keep it cold I strongly discourage you from doing that um, typically we'll just leave it on off uh, until we get to the to the site we will put um, coolers in here uh, freeze packets to make sure that it's cool if we've got stuff that, that's sensitive um, but usually by the time we get to our campsite we'll flip it on and we'll have enough okay now I focus on the on the toilet uh, you need to make sure that you're using an RV toilet treatment we will keep a stock of these in the unit uh, in a box we're gonna keep them under the sink here in this uh, storage area uh, when you start just pull out one of these empty it out into the toilet and then flush and run a good amount of water uh, it says about two liters I recommend you know standing on this for a good 30 seconds to let that water fill up uh, to get a lot of uh, movement there so Keep in mind the gray water is going to fill up much quicker than the black water so you're going to want to make sure that you keep an eye on that from time to time now if you're at a campsite that does not have sewage facilities make sure you check with the front office to see if they've got what's called a honey wagon and they will come by and let you empty out your sewage from time to time usually there's a cost for that but it is usually available if you've if you've got it if they've got it 